say we're gonna be reacting to a video. I can't have a face cam. I'm sorry, but <clears throat> this is the best you can get. I'll try to find out how to get a face cam. Wait, is that a face cam? I'm not sure, but I'll I'll try to find out soon. When I do, though, it will be better. Like and subscribe. Like literally, go to the subscribe button. Like smack as hard as you can, and then punch the like button in the face and tap that bell because you beat the other one too up. And let's get into the video. It's um, this is all from something scary, aka snarled. She is not what she seems. It's your Ate Sapphire. Before we get into today's episode, I wanted to tell you about one of our sponsors who, without them, the show would not be possible. Did you know that fashion is the second most polluting industry in the world? That's pretty scary, right? That's actually one of the many reasons I love to shop secondhand, and my favorite place to do so is on Thread. The gay, you can filter the dollars for only $50. And I can't even tell. This story comes from the creepy pasta subreddit written by username Cupid's Fate. If you haven't seen the Something Scary episode about the elevator game, I highly recommend watching it first. About a year ago, me and my family took a vacation to America. We stayed in this fancy upscale hotel. We checked in and got our key to our room on the fifth floor. Every night, I'd go down to the lobby after dinner and read a book or watch a movie with my headphones and have little chats with the receptionist, Tom. One night, I was in the lobby reading, and my mom texted me, asking when I was going to come back up to the room. I looked at the time and quickly realized it was already 11 p.m., so I went back to my room and stayed up for a bit. After half an hour or so, I realized that I'd left my purse in the lobby. My dad and I kept trying to call Tom at reception via our hotel phone to see if he'd seen it or if it was still there. No answer. After about 10 minutes of trying, I finally decided to head back down. Let's just get this clear. I'm not trying to be racist because I'm white, but... Is she supposed to be black? Wait, wait, wait. Not this, guys, I'm sorry. It was already 11 p.m., so I went back to my room and stayed up for a bit. After half an hour or so, I realized that I'd left my purse in the lobby. My dad and I kept trying to call Tom at reception via our hotel phone to see if he'd- Yeah, I think she's work. Let's get back. She just ignored me and hit the button for the first floor. I thought maybe I somehow offended her or- Shit. It hit me. She might have been deaf or mute or had special needs. Then the elevator proceeded to go up to the 10th floor. That's odd, I said. I looked over at the girl, now looking down at the floor of the lift, quite nervously. I quickly apologized for whatever I'd done. Maybe I was offending her by repeatedly speaking to her, I don't know. But when I'm uncomfortable, I get kind of chatty. We arrived on the 10th floor. As the doors opened, the dark, empty hallway stared back at us. I assumed that she would hit the first floor button again, but she didn't. So I leaned over and pressed it myself. Just as I did that, she was stepping forward. She ran into my arm for a moment and stepped back. After I pulled my arm away, she stepped out of the elevator and into the hallway. Confused, I called out to her. Where are you going? I thought you were going to the first floor. As soon as I said that, she bolted. I struck it off and hit the lobby button. I got to reception and asked Tom if he'd seen my purse. Luckily he had, and he handed it over to me. You could have just called. I would have been happy to send someone up to bring it to you, Tom said. I actually did try calling from my room about half an hour ago, I explained. But I couldn't get through. I figured the line was busy or something. Mm, no, my line was definitely open. I'll have to look into that, Tom said. Before I turned around to head back to the elevator, I asked Tom if there were any deaf or special needs guests at the hotel. I told him about the girl in the elevator and how I might have scared or offended her. He told me he wasn't sure, and even if he did know, it wasn't information he should be sharing. I understood, and headed to my room. The next day, me and my family were going out for the day for some tourist activities. I waved at Tom as we passed reception, and then he waved for me to come over. That girl he mentioned last night. What did she look like? He asked. 
she was like 16 probably. She was wearing this really cute sweater with triangles. Tom looked incredibly worried. She never returned to her room last night. Her parents called this morning looking for her. My heart sank. That poor girl. She was seen pressing random buttons in the elevator on the CCTV. Tom continued. That sounded familiar to me. I remembered seeing a video like that. Back in 2013, I think. Tom showed me the security footage and... Oh, heck no, I would've been out of there. I went out. Sure enough, there she was, looking nervous, pressing random buttons, then me entering on the fifth floor, then her leaving on the tenth. That night, I googled the elevator game, and I skimmed the rules. When you reach the fifth floor, a young woman may enter the elevator. Do not look at her. Do not speak to her. She is not what she seems. So that's why she was ignoring me. I was part of the game. Her game. But I wasn't a monster, I was just a person. Right? Am I not what I seem? Am I dangerous? It's been almost a year since that day. And she still hasn't been found. They say if you play the elevator game successfully, you can travel to an alternate dimension on the 10th floor. But if you don't follow the rules exactly, you might get stuck there forever. And every now and then, I wonder if my being there interfered with her ritual somehow. I wonder if I'm the reason she's stuck. If you haven't already, I highly recommend watching the Elevator Game episode of Something Scary. Thank you to all of our patrons, especially Marissa, who had a character named after them. Guys, that'll be it for today's video.